HashiCorp's Vault Radar supports integration with a wide range of tools to help fight secret sprawl. Here I am logged into the HashiCorp Cloud platform, and I'm going to select Vault Radar, where I can see events, critical issues that have already been discovered. For this integration, I'm going to create a filter that I will use to scan and alert via Slack. So I'm going to select unreviewed secrets that are tip of the default branch, and then I'm going to save that filter, giving it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Secret Scan, and then I'll save it. Next, I'm going to jump over to configure my integration with Slack. And as you can see, there's several different platforms that Vault Radar will integrate with. After selecting Slack, I'm going to go ahead and set up my connection. So I'm going to click on Connection, give that connection a name, Hashi Demo. And then I'm going to use my Slack token to go ahead and set up a secure connection. And I'm going to click Test and Save, make sure everything's set up correctly. The next step is to set up my subscription. So I'll give my subscription a name. Once again, something logical. Hashi Demo Subscription. And then from the drop down, I'm going to select the filter that I set up for my scan and alerts to Slack. And then we're going to select that connection that we set up to securely connect Vault Radar to Slack. Next, I'm going to put in the name of the channel where I want to receive my alerts in Slack, and that's going to be Vault Radar. Test and save and make sure everything's set up correctly. All right, now that I've got things set up in Slack and Vault, I'm going to jump over to my repository, Cat Generator. And I'm going to go directly to the code. And I'm going to insert a new secret in this code. I'll just copy a secret with a demo account, GitHub personal token that's there, and just create a new one. Then I'm going to go ahead and commit that change. Once I've done that, I'll jump back into Vault Radar. And I'm looking at my repositories here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Cat Generator, where I made that change. You'll see there's three critical errors there now. Once I click in, I see four, because I just refreshed it. It's picked up that secret that I just introduced into code in that repository. So if I click on the context link, I'm taken directly to the code and the line of code where that new secret was inserted. Now, if I jump over to Slack, I can go to my Vault Radar channel, and I see, I see that I've received a message when that secret was injected into the code. It's got all kinds of details about it, the time, where it is, the repository. And once again, I have a link to click that brings me directly to the line of code where that new secret showed up. So you can see you now have real-time notification from Vault to Slack once you have a new secret that was created and you can stop that from being deployed.